Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to turn this bit of angle into uh, a sheet metal brake press. It's easy for you to say. Um, yeah, so we'll cut this in half, drill some holes, get another bit of uh, angle to create the thing that it folds up against. I, I don't know if they'd be called a mandrel, but that sort of affair. Weld some, helmet, uh, some handles on and we should be good to go. So the reason for needing this brake press then is because uh, I intend to make a beer cart and a custom made cool box. So the aluminium sheet that I've got will become the outer skin of the cool box. But because I'm tight, I mean thrifty, I've got uh, some angle and I'm going to make a brake press rather than buying it. So to make the hinge, I'm going to drill these to 12 mil. They're like uh, M12 anyway, but just drill them out and bring them into size. And then they should fit like that. Nice. That is warm. Cool, so I'm hoping you can see all of this. So this will be the rough, rough mock-up of what's going on. So we've just made the, you know, hinge essentially, nuts, taking the thread out of them, the through bolt, and sewing down this end. Next thing would be to cut out this section here so that the point of rotation is as close to the center line as possible. Once that's done, we'll then install the uh, mandrill or whatever. The, yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it from now on. And from there, the whole thing will bend up. Obviously this is gonna be cut to length. Cool, so this is cool, so this has turned out better than I sort of anticipated. It's not too much of a a big gap. Ugh. And they all line up. So next thing to do will be um <clears throat> weld like these two to that side and that one to this side and the same on the underside. And then the same up the other end as well. We just need to come up ever so slightly. So we'll find a shim or something to put in there. Holy guacamole, it's coming together. So what we're gonna do now is uh, just put some tack welds in there and on this side, replicate down the other end and see if it opens or closes all right. And go from there.
So hopefully you can see the arrangement now. I'm sure it made sense anyway. Switched on bunch, but yeah, this is to give clearance to the hinge. And there's obviously going to be, a, well not obviously, there's going to be a, uh, a sort of pull down bolt there on either end. And then it, this will be right up to the seam. So when you fold it over, it'll be a nice crisp, well it'll be a touchback actually. But yeah, when you fold it over, it'll be a nice crisp bend. So, yeah, there we go, guys. breaking out the big guns now the you know so these these little drill bizets are um high speed steel cobalt so uh because this is stainless it'd be a right job to go through with a normal drill so yeah gonna use these ones and they ain't cheap i mean they're, they're nothing compared to carbide but you know smoke them if you've got them so i've uh, managed to drill the holes in this bit of stainless uh, that was something else so uh I, I won't show you the footage because it's just a lot of swearing and me repeatedly saying i hate this drill press but we managed to get them through so i've clamped it down just there <clears throat> um, and now we're gonna center punch center punch through that hole onto the plate underneath i'm gonna drill and weld some uh, uh, M10 threaded rod with like butterfly nuts and uh, washers on top to draw it down sort of thing or stop it from rising up when you're bending. So I've already gone in with a three mil. Now we're stepping up to six. I thought I'd press record, but I'm mil. Finally, ten and a half mil. So just getting set up to weld the handle on, which is going to be this big uh, bolt. I scratched away a bit of the paint underneath there and offered up the uh, the square and just sort of brought it into an average because. This isn't dead straight and uh, all the rest of it, but as long as it's close enough for this, it should be fine. Next thing to do will be uh, strike an arc, get this welded in, well tacked in, <clears throat> and then repeat on the other side. Okay, doke then. So we're getting ready to weld the um, tightening studs down. <clears throat> right, so all that's left to do now is cut from here to here and then along here. You can just see that squiggly line. Basically, as close as I can get the grinder to this edge is what we're going to do. Um, and that's to allow this to fold down. <clears throat> Obviously, though, I, I do want to retain a little lip just to, so there's no, well, it reduces the flexing in here. There's not going to be huge strains, but, um, you know, every little helps, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we're going to uh, aim to do. is done which is useful so now just unclamp it and obviously catch my fingers so let's make sure I do that give it a quick wipe down and then give in its maiden go 
All right, here we go then. So a bit of 1.2, uh, let's call it Alley. So it's only lightweight. If you were gonna make this yourself and uh, want it for something bigger, you'd have to, I think you'd have to stiffen this, but I've got like 1.2 mil uh, aluminium sheet to bend. So, oh, like a dream, like a dream. So yeah, she works an absolute treat, which is nice. Right, <clears throat> cheers for sticking around. Uh, yeah. The next build's gonna be an absolute banger. So stick around for that. I'm gonna do it in a couple of parts. Uh, we're nearly at 100 subscribers, which is amazing. So yeah, please like and subscribe, comment. It's the comments that help. And I'll see you later, taters.